Hey guys, Captain Cook here. FEC TV. Fish every cast. I'll give you a little update on what's been going on at the pier. The last three days we've had mackerel mayhem. King mackerel coming over the railing two and three at a time. Spanish mackerel, huge, three, four, five pounds. But uh, today, this is another incident that you can run into out here at the pier. We have pigeons that build nests under the pier. And this time of year, their little babies begin to try to fly. And when they jump out of the nest, they unfortunately land in the water. And uh, so we catch them in the drop nets and dry them out best as we can. This one here is one example. And he's uh, perfectly happy. He has no fear of humans. He thinks everything that's happening to him is normal. But uh, we try to put him in these rags and dry them out a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna take him down to the land and put him out on dry land. And he's on his own after that. His mother no longer knows where he's at, so he, he may make it and he may not. But right now he's not too upset, but he is wet. We got him out of the water. So there you go. We'll take care of that here in a little while. But uh, also, uh, you guys have been making, um, um, putting some comments down in the comment section, and we'll try to uh, respond to those in a few minutes. Maybe some questions. Uh, I'll answer some of the most often asked questions. But for right now, we're gonna take this pigeon and continue to dry him out a little bit more and take him down to the beach and set him on some dry land and cross your fingers. I just wanted to take a few minutes out and uh, recognize some of the people that have been commenting. Thank you guys so much for all the great comments about my videos. I've gotten so many positive, uh, so much positive feedback. Uh, we got good time fishing here, uh, river life. I've seen you on the pier, I've talked with you. We got, here's one right here. This is Kyle Sims, Otis the Druid. That's an unusual one, Otis the Druid, Pensacola, Florida. Let me know how it works down there. It should work okay, trying these straws that I'm referring to. And we got a uh, Sharon Cheeseboro. So, I'm so glad you enjoyed my video. Wow. Uh, let me let me go over to the other page right here. Here we go. Oh, we got Turtle Fish Gaming. They just said hello, Frank. I'm telling you, you guys. Uh, without you guys, it wouldn't it wouldn't be worth doing at all. I'm so glad I was able to be useful and help spread the straw fishing technique. Um, I'm kind of interested. I'm curious to know uh, how well it works in some of these other places down around the Gulf. And uh, somebody said you can't do it in California. Uh, who was that? One of these guys over here. Um, I'd like to know. I, I know you don't want to ban everything out there or whatever. Um, uh, let's hope you can keep trying it. You maybe can modify it somehow and not use a straw, but something like a straw. And, oh, hey, I got a. She's want me to bring her some fish, I think, here. That's a little kitty cat. Harris, my babies. I love cats and got a dog around here somewhere. Um, well, this is what's going on. It's kind of slow out there on the pier right now and it was hot today, but we have the last four days, we had King Michael and Spanish Michael jumping over the railing. It has been insane. I've caught a few of you. Watch my video, I'm sure you've seen it already. Man, it's been insane. Today we've caught several Spanish and we've caught a couple of kings. And um, I'm, I'm gonna go back out there and probably I'm missing a run or two right now as I sit here with this kitty cat chewing me up. It's a good little kitty cat. Okay, um, we have really enjoyed it though. I'll, I hope you have, I can't, keep, keep watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Here's Johnny Bell, he's been going to Apache here since he was one year old, and now he's 14, and he's trying with, he's trying the straws out. That's great. Wow. Daniel, Daniel Nason. 
A brain party. Now that's interesting. That sounds like I could use some brain parties. I need that. Okay, let me, let me. Okay, listen. Uh, I wanted to take an opportunity to mention something we have here, uh, an accessory uh, to the straw fishing, and that's something it's called the Rod Rocker. It's a little device that's made by Wayne Baker out of uh, Taylor, South Carolina. And uh, this is unusual. You got a little screw on the bottom and you can put it on the railing and tighten it down right there. And, and this little string keeps the little nut bolt here from falling in the water. Been there, done that. And, and you put it on the railing and then there's another part that you put on your rod and we, you'll see all that. We're gonna show it up again and it clamps in it goes right in here and sets it, and then you can, it just holds your rod in place. And, and it makes it so much easier. It's not a requirement, but after you get used to using it, you can, uh, you, you, it'll spoil you. You won't, think, you won't ever know how you did without it. And plus it lets... How you did without it. And plus it lets... The rod hang up, down over the railing. It's a long rod. And so you don't want it laying all over the pier for somebody to step on or trip on. And uh, somebody asked me uh, one of the questions. Uh, I'll give you a few questions I most often get asked. Um, what, do you need a long rod to jig with these straws? Yeah, uh, the longer the better. I recommend it. A little short rod, you can only do that. But you get a long rod, it goes down to the bottom and up to the top of the water all the way up again. So it does make it easier. The longer, the better. Um, I caught a lot of fish with a nine foot rod. I've used 10, 11 foot rods. Um, 15 foot rod, they're not that expensive. They sell them down at the pier house here, here at Apache. You can buy them at Bass Pro Shop. Uh, so that's, they asked me what size hook do I use? I like four alt, a little strong, a little stronger. You, don't want, you want something where if you get a big one, that it won't just straighten it right out because they got a lot of speed. Uh, three alt, I've used those for a long time. Nothing less than that, I don't recommend. But uh, you get a stingray on or a shark, uh, you want to just give a little bit. If you don't, he's going to just destroy everything you got. Um, what pound line have I used? I use 30 pound on my reel. That pretty much uh, is all you need. On my rigs that I tie, 40 pound. It seems to work great. 30 pound you might get away with. 50 pound will work too, they've hit it. But it's a little difficult to tie and see those knots on that. I like, I've used, a, I, three ounce weight will work fine. Uh, four ounce weight, it's my preference. Seven straws, I caught for years only on five straws. These straws are available at Walmart and Dollar Tree. You get all the straws you want there. You get a big old pack for a dollar. Man, they'll last you a long time. And uh, what are the other questions I, I get? Um, I, I throw it out, I cast it out just a little bit. So all these straws, like my fingers are a straw, pretend like that, they swim in back. My fish mostly don't swim straight up and straight down and straight up. That will work, they will hit it. And down around close to the pier, you, you can catch something there, you really can. But personally, I like mine to swim a little bit like that, if possible. Well, listen up, this is very much interesting. If you come down or go online, maybe look up Rod Rocker, you can find it. Okay, and uh, run it right down. Um, somebody asked me, uh, um, ow, ow, the cat's eating me alive. Somebody asked me, what do I use to catch the king mackerel? Okay, that's a, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, uh, I'm frosty, that's cool. Uh, I wish I was frosty. If I walk out that door, I will be anything but frosty. It's really nice and toasty out there today. Welcome to summertime. Um, what rig did you use to catch the king, he asked me. Um, that's a different kind of fishing. You have a long rod which throw way out and it snags on the bottom and you slide a fighting rod down with a clip on it. And you use a live bait, a uh, Manhattan mullet. I got a pinfish on and, uh, and it swims around. And, and the kingfish comes along and he grabs it and the clip releases and you fight all around and bring him in. And you, he gets up close to the pier, you have to have 
guys with gaffs and they stick it in him and pull him up over the edge. It's interesting to see. Maybe you can go online and look up kingfishing on the piers. There's a few videos I've seen personally that show you about how to do that. And here's Derek Tark and what to use for bait. Uh, if you if you come down, you're coming down Fourth of July, he says. All right, there you go. I'll be there. Uh, we we're not far from that now. Uh, boy, it's gonna be great too. I can't wait. I'll be up all night out there. What? Well, most of the night. Fireworks, man. It's standing room only. Music. It's a big party. Ground Zero, Apache Pier, I promise you. Uh, I'll be there. And come down and look for me. Okay, and he wants to know what pound test I I just told him that. 40 on the rig, 30 on the reel. Um, for, now listen, you come down, Derek Tarkin, and uh, come out towards the end. Look me up. Look me up. I'll be looking forward to it. I'll give you some tips there and uh, show you how, how to jig the rod. There's a few, few little certain ways to move it. And, and you can make it irresistible to them a little bit more. It'll increase your chances, I promise you. Um, okay, uh, nice macro. Here's, a, here's fishing for, <laughs> that's me, <laughs> fishing for hogs. I like that one. The, talking to the queen peer that caught a 38 pound. Yeah, that was it. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, we got a, I just got a new mackerel video up there. I, she put that up last night. You can see me catch a king mackerel. He's not a hog, but big enough. <laughs> He'll score points. Okay. Uh, where, where, here's fish, here's fish. We was there to see the first, oh, he saw it. Yeah, yeah. Might have been the same. First king mackerel caught in 2019. Might have been the same. Uh, great job. Hope to fish the pier before we leave. Okay, you will. We've got a large group of king fishermen out there now. The word has gotten out, and you're jumping up over the side of the railing. A little bit slow today. One of the problems we're having today is we don't have the bait that we really, really need. Um, we got out there at the end of the pier in the tank. All the fish had died, and so we're scrounging. They went down to the creek and caught some huge mullet. They had a mullet out there that big and a Spanish that big trying to eat it. I feel like if we had the mullet of the Manhattan, we, we would just be killing them right now. But uh, uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, there you go. Um, let me see. Colonel, Colonel Walters. Yeah. See you at the Ashley tournament. Yeah. Yeah. In October. Oh, okay. I hope if I'm still around, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll be there. The Ashley. Yeah. That's great. October. Boy, some cool air. A nip in the air. I'm dreaming about that right now. But uh, anyway, this is uh, great to hear from you guys. It's fantastic. You guys keep keep watching. And it's been a little slow there getting some videos up. But it's happening now. And as these fish come in, we'll keep you in, posted and keep you abreast of what's going on. And uh, I can't wait to keep getting these questions. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Keep me posted and I'll try to keep you posted, okay? Well, listen, this is Franklin Cook, Captain Cook to you, uh, FEC TV. We're out.